Hey everybody, I'm Midge. Hello friends, and I am Madge. And this is another Midge, Midge and Madge, Madge Mingle. Mingle. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Now this is actually a bonus edition of it Mingle. Is. It is a bonus Mingle. Happy Friday to one and all. You know, I love Fridays. When isn't Friday happy? I, I don't know. If Fridays aren't happy for you, something is totally not right. It's not right. Mm-mm. Well, we apologize that we're recorded. Yes. Or that this was previously recorded. Correct. Because we are both out of town separately. Again. Again. What? What's up with that? I know, for the love. We don't do anything separately. We don't, but apparently two times. Jiminy Christmas. It is my 20th anniversary. Happy anniversary! So that's why I'm out of town without Madge. (laughs) Yes. And I am glad that I'm not there, if you know what I mean. Well, I don't know. You're in crazy Vegas right now, I, so I don't really know. I mean, watch out for all you people that are down in Vegas. Yep, Viva Las Vegas. Yes, I'm yes. sure I'm going to be getting some crazy videos from you. I don't want any crazy videos from you, though. I mean, I don't think I could some send nice anything romantical. Maybe I think you're going to do something fun on the beach, though. I've heard. Nope, not the I'm beach. going to you're Colorado. On, you're going to Colorado. So. But no, I mean something fun <laughs> on a horse. We're you're going horseback riding. Yes. So in my mind, I was thinking it was on a beach with your hair blowing in the wind. But you're still going on a horseback ride, which I think is going to be super fun. I mean, it is. We do live out here on horse property. We do, but still. But we're. it's good. It's going to be good. Yeah. She's going for a drive in her new car. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, it's beautiful. <laughs> we love that, too. Yes, we're road tripping and you're Vegasin. Yep. But it's, I don't know. it's good. Basically, we're two party animals and we're at opposite parties. States. <laughs> yep. It's all right. We'll okay. be back. We'll be back partying again together Monday. Yes. But what do we have today, friends? Today, we have a little co op with Newton's Nook and Zyron. Newton's Nook and Zyron. Now, anybody who hasn't checked out Newton's Nook, go for it because they have some totally adorable stamps yes. and all sorts of fun goodies. Yes, they do. And of course, we had to go with the cactus stamps because, you know, everybody loves a good cacti. Yes, and they are so trendy right now. They are. They really are. They're everywhere. And I said, a cacti. Oh my gosh. It's okay. It works. Whatever. A cacti. Well, because these are called cup of cacti right here. So cute, you guys. And I'm going to tell you what they say. Because since we did ink with them, we'll, we'll might have a better picture of them. We will. Because they're a little bit blurry. But I'm going to tell you, there's one that says caution. And then another one that says, I'm a little prickly before my coffee. Ooh. Yes. That one's fun. And coffee makes you sharper. And hello. And then these adorable little kind of chubby cactuses with flowers. So cute. So cute. And then this one is cultivated cacti. And you can see, like, you can pick the different cactus with a different pot or what have you. Very and fun. Then the other sayings on this one are stuck on you, aloe, I like all of you, even the prickly parts. Thank you for sticking by me and looking sharp. And we will have a good picture of these. We will have a good picture. Um, make sure that you check out our blog post so you actually can click on the links and things. And we will have the link also posted in the description box above this video yes um so you can check out their facebook page as yes well. yes yes and so many yeses correct so what we chose to do was a little gift item i guess you would say yes because i know i would love this gift yes and i would too in fact this is a gift to myself so it's okay yay and this is to me too <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! i loved it so much i just i can't give it away do you ever yeah. make projects like that you have the intention of giving it away, but man, you love it, so you're going to keep it for yourself. A lot of the time, yes. It happens. It happens. And maybe someone wouldn't appreciate it as much as I do. They might. <laughs> I know. Gosh, dang. So what we did was we went again to the Handy Dandy Dollar Store. Yes, we did. And got ourselves some coffee mugs and then picked whichever stamps we wanted to use. Yes. And stamped on directly onto our mugs. Now, we will say... When you are stamping like on a ceramic or a dish that you want to use or something like that, you need to use a really good archival ink. And we use stays on for this one, just just yeah. so you know. We we've always used that kind when we do these projects. So Correct. 
We're not saying one over the other. This is just what we've used. Correct. So after you stamp on what you want your... Oh, wait. Can I do this? Oh, whistle. You first have to wipe oh. off your surface with alcohol. Alcohol. Yes. That Heavy gets alcohol. like fingerprints and oil and everything off of there. Thank you. That's yes. All right. Wipe your cup down with a little rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's completely dry. Yes. Then get your archival stays on whatever your favorite ink is and stamp your pattern on. And I did the, I'm a little prickly before my coffee. And then I chose to do this kind of little fat cactus and this pot. And then I added this little flower to stick out the top of my cactus. Madge, what did you say on yours? Um, on mine, I did caution. I'm a little prickly before my coffee. Yes. And I did the cute little one over here. It's kind of like in a saucer cup already. In the cup of cacti cup of set. Cacti, yes. And then I did the little caution stamp with that cute little scene is what I did. And I loved it. So it turned out darling. We love it. And we will also say when you're stamping on a round surface, maybe get a flexible stamping block if yes. you have one or yes. something. It's a little bit hard with these blocks, but we've made it work. So. We did. We did. So that, that is a that is a top tip there. If you have something that bends or whatever, yes. that would be ideal for this type of a project. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so once you've stamped and it's how you like it, you need to put it in your oven for anywhere between 350 and 400 degrees. If you're really brave, do 400. We didn't quite get that hot. Now, don't be scared because we did this. Yes. We, we, if we, we actually did, it, did this. You can do it. It's yes. not like the time that I almost caught my oven on fire making melts with crayons. We're not going to talk about that right now. Or another craft fell when we were trying to make some fun shrinky dinks. We're not going to talk about that either. That was really recently. It was. <laughs> it's still hard to talk about. Hey, but... hey, maybe a bonus bonus mingle. <laughs> we might share that craft fail video. But anyway, anyway. That was horrible. That was the biggest <laughs> fail ever. Oh. Okay, so get your oven heated up to somewhere between three, at least 350 and 400 degrees. Then you want to put your mugs in your oven center rack for about 30 minutes and then turn your oven off and let the mugs completely cool before you pull them out of your oven just so they don't crack. Yes. So make sure that you don't need to bake a cake or anything that they can sit in the oven until they're completely cool. And it will take like at least an hour. Yes. Okay. I need to ask Mitch a question because I'm sure maybe some people might have it. Um, did you put the mugs on a cookie sheet or did you put them on anything or just on the rack in the oven? On the rack, but I tipped them upside down, which okay. is the best, so they don't wobble. They don't wobble. So okay. upside down, just right directly onto the oven rack. Perfect. Yes, Perfect. ma'am. Yes, so once it's cooled, we pulled it out mm -hmm. and we got some fun little bags of coffee. Yes. And what did we do, Madge? You know what? Then we thought, we can't just give a gift right which they're giving we're going to keep them we didn't at the time realize but if we were going to give them away we can't just do just leave it like that we needed to make a really cute tag yes to go with it yep so we just grabbed some cardstock out of our stash that we had which just happens to be like this yes and the back the, um the backing of the one has some dots on it and um which actually you can't really see but it is a pattern <laughs> whatever and then what we did is we just stamped again one of our favorite cacti that we found um in one of these cute little sets here yes ma'am and i just stamped um thank you for sticking by me and then i did one of the cute little prickly cacti with a little pot underneath it and made a tag i did not die cut a tag i didn't do anything like that i just cut it with my cutter and I used my fabulous Xyron tape runner to adhere all the pieces together and bada bing bada bing. Boom. Yeah. She had a tag. I did. And I used the one that's almost more like a succulent with another cute little pot. And then I just used the little the the sentiment aloe instead of hello. Isn't that so cute? So Allo. cute. And hello. Yep. And I stamped onto just some cream cardstock. And I rounded my corners and then I used my fabulous Xyron tape runner and adhered it back to some other, the green, and there. And you can see, nice and smooth, no ripples, Xyron adhesive rocks. rocks. And I also, since I stapled this ribbon onto my tag and didn't think about it, I used the mega run well this isn't my, my oh, tape yeah. runner, we mm -hmm. do, I could have used the mega runner. And I just put some on the back of my tag and it sticks I don't want to pull it off, but it sticks perfectly to my bag of coffee right there. 
Bada Loving bing, it. bada boom. See you guys. So just with just a couple items, we created a super fun, um, a super fun gift idea. Yes. Now you guys, these could be great for anything, for birthdays, for a teacher back to school gift, for Christmas, for really anything, just, mm -hmm. a, just, a, just because or a thank you. Yep. Um, and the sentiments in the two stamp sets g are good for gift giving as well. So yes. lots of different occasions. Yes. And again, we use the cup of cacti and you can see how cute little, they're in little coffee cups, cup of cacti and the cultivated cacti with a little few more and some pots. Yes. So many cute ideas, you guys. And as popular as cactuses are right now. Yes. Cacti are. Mm. Cactus. I don't know. As popular as they are, you guys, how fun would it be to make a whole bunch of cactus stickers by just stamping with these cute stamps onto your favorite cardstock and then running them through your sticker maker. Yes, in fact, because I have a sticker maker right here on our desk. Let yes. me just share with you. Yes, because or like, or kids can personalize like their notebooks or because it's going to be school. School. Yes. Sadly, I mean, oh. I almost choked a little bit when she I said like, school. Oh, school's coming. Oh. But they could personalize pencil boxes or notebooks or whatever. Just use these cute stamps and your sticker maker, and bam. Yeah, that'd be the. Coolest kid in school. Yeah. And they could say, I made that. They could. And and it's another project for them to do that kills a little bit of their time during the day. So many yeses. That's always a bonus. It is. Yes, ma'am. We like to keep the kiddos busy. Yes. So many yeses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. So there, another fun project just showing how versatile the sticker, not sticker maker, <laughs> We talked about the sticker maker. Yes. But the tape runner, because you can use it for every little project you need. We even have one in our junk drawer in the kitchen. We do. Just really quick, like, you never know when you're going to need to stick something. You know what? They work great. Yes. So, bam. So we want you to go to Newton's Nook and say, hey, like their page. Midget Match sent us. Midget Match sent you. And go also go to Zyron's page. And all through the week... They have been doing different um, project ideas, yes. different posts. If you, prize alert, prize alert. Woo, woo, giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. giveaway. I wish we had like one of those. Woo, we need one of those blue light stands. special. Oh, yeah, blue light blue special light at special. Kmart. Yes. Oh, one we of need the one of those. lights. We need one. Yes. Oh, Let's Amazon. look for one of those. We're going to find one. We're yeah. going to find one of those. Yep. But prize alert. Go to Zyron's page and look at all the fun ideas that have been posted there during the week. Yes. With the Newton's Nook stamps and the Zyron. And comment, comment, like, share. But you'll be entered to win a $25 Newton's Nook gift card. $25, friends. $25. And a Zyron Mega Runner. The big boy. The big boy. In fact, if you, any of you don't know what the Mega Runner big boy is, let me just... Grab it. Here it is. Now that is a big boy. This one is the Teresa Collins one, but you guys, it's it's the Mega Runner right here. Yes. So go to Newton's Nook and say Midge and Madge sent you. Like their page. Like the Zyron page. Go through. Look at all the inspirational projects that have been posted using Newton's Nook and Zyron together. And you will be entered if you like and comment on those projects to win the fabulous prize pack. I love that. I wish we could enter. I wish we could too. Mm. Darn. Mm. Darn it. <laughs> hey, and if you love this project, if you love Zyron, if you love Newton's Nook, or you love Midge and Match, be sure to share this video. Yes. Give us some shares. Sharing is caring. Caring. And we will be back live, live, live Monday. Yes, we will. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, Hot diggity. All right. Should I just, I'm just going to, oh, wait a minute. We don't even need to do that. We don't need to, but I realized we have funny shirts we on. We do today. Now, oh, yes. Now, you may have to go back through some videos because I do not always point out what my shirt says, but usually yes. it's pretty clear. Yes. But we're trying to make a mental note. We're trying to get through all of our sarcastic t-shirts so that then we're done. We yes. She has a lot more than I do. I have oh so many. I'm yes. trying not to duplicate as well. We, and we have a lot of the same. We do. We do. Yes. Which I do have this one because it, of course, is one of my favorites. But yes. they're all my favorite. Mm -hmm. So, Madge, what does your shirt say today? Mine says, out of all of the lies I've ever told, just kidding is my favorite. I like that shirt so much. And mine simply says, it's not me, it's you. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites as well. Yes. 
Because we, we both had this one, we too. We do. And unfortunately, <laughs> I wore it painting one time, and I got paint all over mine. That doesn't, wah, wah, wah. That doesn't mean you can't wear it. I know. I know. I, I need to just pull it out. <laughs> Just start wearing it again. Okay. It's one of my favorites, you know? All right, fine. Okay. Okay, well, we will be back, and we will see everyone on Monday. And so we hope that you have a fabulous rest of your weekend. Yes, yes. All right. Hot bananas. Hot bananas. See you Monday. See ya. Bye.